Good morning. This morning we read that well-known passage, uh, Daniel chapter 3. And Daniel chapter 3 tells the story that you will probably know very well of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. The king built the huge statue and demanded that people bow down before it. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego refused. They were reported to the king who in a fit of fury had them thrown into the fiery furnace. God sent his angel who walked with them and delivered them out of the fiery furnace and they were seen unarmed not even the hair of their heads was singed and their clothes were not damaged they didn't even smell of fire such a complete deliverance it begs the question doesn't it that what if god was able and willing to deliver Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego from the fiery furnace. Why are the deaths of so many of his people recorded in the books of martyrs? Why, if God was able and willing to deliver these three, did he not deliver the hundreds and probably hundreds of thousands of his saints who have given their lives because they refused to deny the gospel message. First of all, I want to say Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego's attitude was right. God is able to deliver us, but our faith in him is not dependent upon whether he delivers us or not. Even if he does not, we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. And this is our testimony to that our faith in God is not dependent on him doing what we ask him to do in prayer. God is God and we are not. We will serve him whatever comes our way. Whichever way he leads, we will serve him. A correct attitude in prayer is absolutely vital. We do not demand from God or manipulate God or use a form of words that mean God must do something. God doesn't have to do anything. He's God and you're not. God acts according to his sovereign will. And so the first thing we see in this is Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego realized God's power but also accepted his sovereignty and brothers and sisters when you pray believe God's power but also accept his sovereignty who knows exactly the reason why these three were delivered and others were sent to their deaths perhaps the answer is at the end of it it uh, their deliverance or glory to the name of the Lord and uh, protection to his people. The king uh, refused to let anyone say anything against the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. So the, peop the Jewish people were protected in Babylon uh, because they held the name of the Lord. Maybe that was the reason. Maybe it was so that Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego could be promoted in the province of Babylon and so benefit the people of God. Whatever the reason, God had his reasons for saving these three. But God is glorified too in the death of martyrs, those who have refused to deny the Lord in the face of death. God is glorified in their life too. And in the end, our lives, whether we live or die, whatever happens to us, we, our aim is to live in such a way that we bring glory to God the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ as the Holy Spirit is at work in our hearts. The Lord bless you today. Believe God's power, but accept his sovereignty. Amen.